Art teachers are required to give students levels at the end of year nine. Levels which take into account a student's work over the academic year. But before that, most departments like to give their students a guide by applying levels to projects and individual pieces of work. This programme follows the art departments at two North London schools as they make decisions on which levels to award their students. Full details of how these levels are arrived at are available on this programme's resource page on the Teachers TV website. At East Barnet School, they're getting ready for a meeting to award levels to two painting projects by years eight and nine. We're going to have a discussion tonight about the levels that we think the students' work is at. And so we've all brought samples of work along with us to the meeting. Down the road at St Michael's Catholic Grammar School, they're also getting ready for a meeting to award levels for their Year 9 project, Urban Environments. The teachers bring samples of work by a high, a middle and a low achieving student. This is bottom. These set the groups here are bottom, middle, right. Okay. In East Barnet, they begin with Year 8 landscapes, starting with a painting that could be a level 3 or a level 4. I mean, the student has worked observationally because the starting point for this project is to go outside, isn't it, onto the terrace and look across North London at Alexander Palace and the skyline. Start with a gut instinct, which I know is always like dangerous it. to start. I mean, <laughs> I like it. It's a nice little drawing, but, isn't but it? Where would we say that was? Sort of like taking away all the national curriculum things to begin with in terms of a level? Four. A four, a level four. Um, What's that, Oliver? Some elements probably slightly under. We've got obviously smaller yeah. images right at the background, so there is a little bit of that. However, mm. um, there's a little bit of sort of naive. I'd certainly say they're using line to sort of analyse different shapes. Would you say that? Yes, yeah. yeah. It's actually yeah. not linking together. Mm. That's yeah. the main problem. In terms of it's, media, it's, in, in terms, terms of, of drawing, drawing. Yeah. Yeah. together. Yeah. Are we all agreeing that it's, it, it's around that level three? Yes. Yeah, yeah. For, for those reasons. I think, yeah. yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Jumping from the piece that we've just looked at, I think we can all see there's like a real initial that there's mm. like quite a big jump, isn't there? There is some kind of harmony here mm. that is lacking here. Okay. If you look even the, the way the tree is bending into the horizon, it coming to the horizon and to the other tree, and the way the line mm. is coming, there, there is there is some kind of flow here that is quite nice. The media is probably a three, high three, low four, because it's flat, isn't it? There's no sense of um, light. light and getting darker towards the foreground. I, I feel it is hitting the four just in terms of the media. I think there's a sense of sort of layering going on here within the sky and elements here. I think it's a low four. But it's definitely it's a four. Be because, you know, if, I think from <coughs> that to that, there is a sort of like a step up. When there's disagreement, subgroups within a level can help. But have we got these both on the same level? Seriously, they look very, very similar. Just the, the mark the making, the colours. Yes, and I think the that they're exactly at the same level. Exactly. No. I think you're just trying to justify it because you're saying that because that no. drawing that oh, drawing's no. really nice. No, 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 no. Yeah? No, no. Well, look here. This is Barnet. Mm. These are the houses and they get smaller towards the horizon line. That's not happening there at all. There is a little bit more of a thought process going on there. A little bit more of an understanding of 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 what is being asked of the student. And I and think so, and I think it's sorry Carol, I didn't well, mean I just, to Well, I just think the idea bit of the a, B and C mm. that, that we're dealing with at the moment is it relative It gives you that flexibility. Here. So Otherwise, if they're fours, they're fours, they're fours. If we compare those, the student there has used their drawing yes. to show the contrast between various sections of the picture to create a, a sense of scale and depth. I think you can see the jump from that one to that one. At St Michael's, before they consider awarding levels to their Year 9s, they make comparisons between the samples of work. The shape of the car is really good. I think that's good. I've seen some really ropey cars over the years. Yeah, and that's a good block of, um, you know, 
but it's well. just too big for that yeah. road. Yeah. So the question is, is this guy, is this girl better than this one? Yes. Are we agreeing that? I think so. Or are they the same? <laughs> no, so I think she has got the edge. Got the edge on them. Yeah. All right yeah. then. So let's put this person here as next. Okay, is, is, this, is this student better than this student? The drawing is better than the painting. So, developmentally, that's not very good. Right. Um, but then this is, I just, there's I think no correlation between the, these two compositions. They both have to try to tackle the perspective and have got a certain mm. amount of, of things getting smaller with distance, but um, and likewise yes, here. They are. So they both sort of got that, but then yeah. there's, there's no sophistication, no variation in the fence here. And likewise, there's not really any variation in the, in the stones mm. here. I think they're the same. Yeah. This is our order, isn't that's it? That's the order now. So those are the same. Those Having placed them in a rough order of merit, they need to start awarding levels. Yeah. And for the team, it's a big responsibility to get it right for the students. So you want to be fair to them and you want to make sure they're getting the right grade, you're not overmarking or undermarking. So you have got to try and separate yourself from the personality, from the individual in class, because you might get on better with certain students and not so well with others. So you, you can't differentiate with that in your marking. And Lucia's work, is she a level eight? For, for a level eight, you've got to be taking full advantage of the, the materials and processes, which I think she is. I think when we're looking at a level eight, we have to take into account the drawing and the sketchbook and the consistency of um, homeworks. She's probably a level eight. Level eight. Okay. Yeah. And level seven, we've said they're competent, showing competence. And th th this is showing competence. Okay. I think this definitely fits the level seven descriptors rather than level eight. Might it be level six? No. no. It is a level seven. Artwork from previous years, representing each of the levels, is available to refer to. But assessing unfinished work can raise problems. At the moment, it's not as good as that. It's not finished, though, is it? No. no. But it's, that was a 6A. I think this is a lower 6. We should give her a 6B. Because, and, and yes, she can work into it and improve it and have the ability, it, it, it's, it can go up. I still think that the paint techniques are much more sophisticated yeah, it than is, here. Yeah, it is, so yeah. This is flexible, we can... This work at the moment is a 6B, all right? As it is now, not what she's going to do next week, all right? She may well work, work into it, I'm sure she will, and it'll go up a, a, a stage in her no, development. You're, you're, you're saying it's a 6B. Yes. I, but I'm arguing that it's not. Mm. But I, it's you're, you're just saying, the point that I think Jane was trying to make is that yeah. we haven't got in a our sample a 6A. Oh, no. So we'll come back to that. So we might say that that's a 6B or an A. Because it could be a 6B. I mean, you could, you could, for argument's sake, put it, put it as an in-between. Those two grades. Yeah. Moving on yeah. to a 6A. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, All right, uh, then. I would agree with that. Jane and then you've well. kind of got... Um, <laughs> working towards a 6 that's a, that, that's a good compromise. Six, oh. yeah. So it's that in-between stage, which I think is actually more accurate. And so you can see that yeah. what she okay. needs to do to get into a 6A. All right, or... good. <sighs> okay. It's not easy doing this. We're very passionate about what we do and we want to get the, the, the best level possible, try and give the student the highest level, looking at all, all aspects of their work, their research, their experimentation with techniques, as well as the final outcome. In East Barnet, they've moved on to assessing the Year 9 Expressive Face project. Well, there is obviously a greater understanding here of, of the form. Yes. Uh, yeah, and and the the, way that they it, it feels the, difficult. The drawing, yeah. yeah, the drawing is stronger to start with. Uh, the use of media is much more in control. The understanding of how to put the two together is definitely greater. I mean, that is yeah. very good. Oh, yes. No, that is, is gifted. Is, is excellent. Yeah. What yeah. am I saying about this one? Well, I, I certainly think it's a 7C. I think yeah. it's moving into a seven. Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. No, I think no. it's six A. Oh, you think it's just missing it? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's only when the student's sketchbook and additional work are taken into consideration that agreement is reached. And there's a sense that when we sort of look through the work, you know, the, the initial part, and then taking that through from the book into the book, you can see there's a real sort of un sense of understanding, the student mm. pushing that on um, and sort of taking that through and developing it in his own way and then feeding that back into what he's done in class because you can see qualities and elements of this coming through into the finished piece. Mm. There is that link there, that's, that sort of sophistication, sort of thinking yeah. that's going on with that piece. The media as well is, is, is hitting that as well, obviously, as, as a seven, there's that sort of fluidity there. So I think the fact that the drawing is not quite getting in there is not going to stop him from getting his seven. So we agree it's definitely seven yeah. C on the whole yeah. lot. We agree with that. We yeah. agree. Yeah. At St Michael's, they're still working their way through the Year 9 Urban Environments project. I think that's a five at the moment. I know there are some lovely touches and she's really responding to the work of her artist. She's developing that beyond her drawing. She's recognised yeah. the weaknesses in But I think drawing. she's a 5A at the Absolutely. moment. She's really considered the drawing though yeah. because she's added on the paper. She realised she's got the wrong scale. She realised she couldn't fit it all in and so um, rather than starting her again it was easier. And that's what, that's what Degas does, has done. So why can't she do it? I think this is a 5C. It might be a 5C. There is a mixture of tones. She's done that. What about the three lines? The Which three lines? lines? Oh, yeah, that, there's none of that, no. is there? That's what makes it a lower 5. So could this be a 5B and this be a 5C? Yes. That would make it much clearer for us as well. OK, let's do that. The drawing certainly is better than that one. Much better. I'm not sure how. Well, that's completely flat. There's no sophistication the drawing, in, the, in yes. the drawing. Yeah. And this one has got, she, those windows are getting smaller yeah. with distance. She's done it in her painting, I guess. There is some progression there. Um, and this one is perhaps, par that's parallel yes. with that. So the, yeah. so the drawing is better, but the painting is the same. So we'd say this is a high four. Yeah. Four A. At the end of the meeting, Kate takes photos of the artworks, with the levels awarded clearly marked, and puts them on disc as a source of reference for each member of the department. So is time spent awarding levels useful? We will meet and sort of discuss levels on a reasonably sort of regular basis. So, you know, this is not a case of saying, right, well, you know, this is a level six and this is a level six for the next four or five years. We're, we're hopefully constantly reviewing students' work, sort of comparing what each one of us is doing. So there is that process of standardisation and moderation that, that, that goes on. Despite the shortcomings of the level descriptors, we do believe in the levels we're giving the students and feel they're very fair, having looked at all aspects of their, their work, their sketchbooks, their research, their experimentation, up to their final outcome. We do feel it is a very good system, although it is something we debate and discuss and torture ourselves over every year in our meetings. It's hard, but it works. Thank <laughs> you.